In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a Google ad to test my landing pages. It's always worth spending some money just to make sure your landing page will convert and so you can get your conversion rate. We'll talk a little bit like about that later on, but look into the description or below this video and you'll see some links. You can actually get into this funnel so you can go to freepassiveincome.com or click on one of the links below. And, and you can actually go through the funnel, put your details in. You're only going to come on my newsletter. Um, you're going to see a really good video as well, some really good training. But this will give you a good idea how I start to make a landing page that's going to convert really well. I've been doing this method for, I think, probably about 12, 13 years now. It works really well. So let's make a start and go through it. So you need a paid ad. I know that a lot of you will be using social media and social media is fine. Um, but you've got to click, you've got to actually track the click coming through to the landing page so you can see whether you've got a conversion or not. And what we're looking to do is to create the best landing page we can. And the way we do that is just by changing the message. Very simple landing pages work really well. Um, but the great thing about Google is you're testing on cold traffic. So cold traffic is basically when someone searches online for something and they've never met you before and they're coming straight onto your website and you're a complete stranger. So you're testing it with some of the, probably the, the best and worst because the best is because it's search traffic. So they're actually looking for that thing. They're looking, we want to make money online from home, as you can see from the ad. Um, but it is still freezing cold. So social media, you might have put out 300 videos and they, your face might have been in them. You might have talked to them in your social media. And that's quite a warm sort of audience then. So when they come through to your landing page, they're probably going to, you know, a good percentage, 50% of them will probably opt in anyway and put in their email address. But a great way to really test the page is to put some cold traffic through first. So I'll just go through a few things so you can see what's going on with this. So I just made a simple advert um, pointing at freepassiveincome.com. But what I'm doing is an A and a B test. So I'm A, B split testing two different pages. So one of the pages will have start making money online from home and the other one will have a different message. They look very similar. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, and we're using different adverts. So the titles in this advert will will change so um, the headlines sorry so the headlines I might put 10 different headlines in then I'll see what converts the best so between these two um, you're going to get your message right and messaging is everything really once you get a good landing page where you've got the right message so start making money online from home um, and you've got that here as well make money online from home once you've got these two tied together, um, you'll start to get a system. I throw $100 at this, 100 pounds, 100 whatever. Um, you, can, you, you need to get used to spending some money. I appreciate with social media, you think everything's free. Um, we'll talk about that another day, but your time isn't free. So one of the quickest ways to actually sort this page out is just to invest some money. And you're investing your money to get the data from Google, the live data. You can, you can look at their keyword tool, you can buy SEM Rush, um, you can use all different software, do whatever you like, but you can't be good live data with actual people clicking through and will they opt in. So let's just take a look at the pages now, just so you can see what we're doing. Let me just get rid of the screen brush and get this up. So for page one has got the message. Let's go to this one actually. This is the actual first message. Start making an income online. As you appreciate, that's the softer approach. Start making income online. And the second page has got start making money online from home. So the title is extremely important. One of the first things that people see is what is the message? What am I getting into here? So start making money online from home, no experience required. So that ties in really well with that advert. Um, but does this one start making income online? It's a bit more generic. It's a, you know, it's not, it's not as specific. I use the word home in this first message. And this is really for people that literally, 
you know, they're not traveling, they're not, you know, traveling around. They're probably just looking for a small business they can run from home on a computer. So this message might be the one, but we're only assuming that. And that's, that's the most interesting thing about A-B split testing pages is if you actually get into it and you actually do it, you'll be amazed because some of the messages you put out there don't actually work and something that you thought was not great works really well. So let the audience decide. We can't decide. We th might think this one's the best, but it actually might not be. So something else I'm doing he here is you'll, you'll notice it's going free training. And in the other one, it was doing free video. Now, if you think about it, free training, it's exactly the same training, by the way, that you get if you go through this funnel. It's really good. So go and take a look. But um, one saying a free video which doesn't sound as valuable as free training. So again, we're testing that message. And you might A, B, C, D, E, F test. In other words, about five different pages. Don't worry about that too much. I mean, go with two at first and just change the headline. So just change the headline. The headline is massive. So if you can work out which headline's working best, and then you might go on to, you know, what text is working. You need a block of text, basically. I mean, the, the key to a good landing page is a good headline and then the block of text. And that usually is enough for people. I've experimented with videos. I'll show you something else in a minute that I do. Um, so you can do pictures. You could do a vertical intro video because this might be a final app. You know, this might not be for Google Ads. Eventually, we might actually put Instagram or TikTok through this funnel. So. Um, having a vertical video here works really well because people are on their mobile, they're used to the vertical format. They come off TikTok or Instagram or Facebook Reels and then they've got the vertical video. So this could actually be a video on the right. You could test that as well. You can also test, obviously, with your contact form, background images, colours. You can test anything. This message down at the bottom, you'll notice on this page, I've got no message. On this page, I've just got a little message in there as well. So you're looking to just make really simple landing pages at first so that you can um, make your advert very specific to that page. And then just see, if you, can, if you spend $100, you're gonna get so much data, especially if you try the display network as well. Um, by the way, I do run Google Ads courses if you come onto this, I only offer it to people that are on the email list who come on the newsletter. So come over to this page and, and get on the list because uh, I put out, Google Ads is really the thing I specialize in, to be honest with you. Um, so let's just carry on a tiny little bit further. So we've got our two pages. We started to think about the headlines and the, and the message and maybe the video. What I also test is the thank you page. So what you're able to do with Google Ads is um, use conversion tracking to put it on your thank you page. So your thank you page is when somebody's put their details into there. So they put their details in, um, they've come through, and you can directly send them to an offer or obviously send them not to an offer and just send them an email. There's lots of different ways of doing it. Um, but the thank you page or the bridge page, some people call it a bridge page, can be a bridge page, thank you page. This one is obviously because I've got a really good course you can take. So so you can, you can play around with your video. Um, that's one minute long. I found that works really well. If I went two minutes or three minutes, believe it or not, then people would click off this straight away. So 30 to 60 seconds is a bridge page, a short message, um, prompting them to check their email box as well, inbox, and then they can start the free training. So what you're really doing is not leaving any of it to chance. You're getting live data from people who are actually visiting Sorry, people are actually searching for what, what we are, you're offering. And that's the difference. On social media, they're not actually doing that. You're interrupting them during their day and saying, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? 
Um, and that's the tricky bit. The great thing about search and why I'm a big fan of it, YouTube search, organic, paid search, paid um, Google organic, that's really background I've come from and I still focus on, is because you get results. So you can, you, you can literally say, which I do with my uh, kind of wedding photography business actually in a photography um, channel, is I know that if I spend $200 here, I can book a wedding. And when you get to the point where you can literally, I've done that for years, where you can spend a certain amount of money on ads and you get a reaction, in other words, a customer, then what you start to do is say, well, if it's $100 um, I'm gonna spend and I end up getting 500, 400, $500 net profit, then you've got a good system and you're tying your ad in with your landing page. But this takes a lot of testing. This isn't gonna happen overnight. You might get a lucky ad. I remember one, one ad actually I did once where I actually got a 100% convert, conversion rate where I put the ad up and literally the first click I got a customer, but that happens, that is one in a million. You've got to test this. So testing your landing pages, testing your adverts, and then once you've got a good landing page and you know it works, then you can unleash it on social media. So once you've got a good system where people go, they opt in, um, you've got a good back-end email system as well, which is really important, then you can put it into social media, on TikTok, whatever you want to do, and you'll find you're going to really, really get good conversions then. And obviously that's free traffic or I use the word free. It's not free to me. Believe it or not, this is free. And I'm, I'm going to do a video on that at some point. This is free. Um, because if you can actually predict that you spend $100 and make $500 back, then that $100 soon disappears, doesn't it? Because you've made $400 profit. Because when on social media, if you keep posting and posting and posting, um, and you don't know really what's converting and what's going on and you're not tracking your links. You don't really know where you are and it's not free because your time is not free. Never forget that. Your time is more valuable than money. So this is live now. You can go and take a look. Have a look in the links in the description. Um, go to freepassiveincome.com. That's one route in. Um, there's probably about four different routes in, four different landing pages now, but I would just go and take a look, join on the email list, get the newsletter, get the free training, which is really good. Have a look at that. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.